Welcome. Uh, we're doing quick draft new capella number seven today. Uh, this will be the last one. I ran out of gold, and uh, also it's it's timing out anyway. But uh, it's been a, a good run. It's been very enjoyable, actually. I think this is a very quite an interesting set to draft. We have a very interesting rat we've opened. I think people were giving putting this in the F tier. So we'll see if we can do something with it. I think the main problem is you need um, spells with mana value 1 to actually get it started. Uh, and that's quite tricky. But if you can get it started, then you're you're laughing. Then it's just yeah, 2 drop, 3 drop, 4 drop, 5 drop. And yeah, then you, then you get value, you get flying creatures. So I'd love to actually make this work. Um, but uh, we won't get too, at the same time, I'll try not to get too distracted. If there's a really, really good card outside these colors, I'm looking at uh, <laughs> calling a professional right now. Um, we, we probably ought to take that. So, yeah, first, uh, as I say, rule of thumb, first five packs, just pick the best card and then figure things out from there. Now, if if we are dedicated to Obscure Ascendancy, we need ooh, a decent number of one drops to get this, to actually get, have, get value from this thing and get it started. Um, I see Broker's Initiate. Maybe, maybe this is the... Uh, the draft where I, I draft several brokers initiates. I've been keeping away from them. I feel like oh, it's a big mana sink, but I've been uh, I got I got badly duffed up by a brokers initiate <laughs> yesterday. Um, I mean I was on the offensive and it would just kill one of my creatures every turn. I was running out of cards. I had to keep attacking. Um, and it killed about four of my creatures. <laughs> And eventually, I had to use my my one removal spell on it. I um, I drew my eventually drew my murder, and ha and this this was the priority target. This was the biggest creature in that particular game. So it's uh, it's a very defensive measure that I'm kind of not that comfortable using. But uh, yeah, I suppose you, you need maybe a different mindset of just I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not that bothered about defeating the enemy. I'm going to outlast the enemy. I'm going to put so much toughness on the board. He's not going to be able to get through me. So yeah, it might be a good card. I'm not sure. Um, I think uh, I'm going to... I've played a lot of red. This is, Yeah, this is probably the best card in the pack. I'm probably going to ignore it. Plasma Jockey is very good as well. I guess if you if we strategize for later on, we're going to get pick 10 from this pack as well. We have five green cards here, I notice. Okay, this doesn't have green in its colors, so that's um, maybe a non-starter. But uh, blue, black, white, so we've got Snooping Newsy. I've just played a deck with four Snooping Newsies, which was really cool. This could work with Obscure Ascendancy. And he here's my pitch, right? This is part of the self-mill deck. You put lots of cards in your graveyard. Um, my Newsy deck had, I think, three reanim... Uh, res uh, what do you call them? Raise Dead spells. So it gives you a lot of card selection if you, you mill lots of cards into, into your graveyard. That's how you find your one-drops to get this, the Ascendancy started. That's that's my theory, right? So I think this is very good here. And I just think, I think this is just a more interesting strategy than just getting the best red burn cards. Uh, Witness Protection is a removal spell. It makes something a 1-1. One, one. That's all right, that's not bad. Security Bypass can win you games, but it's, I, High risk, I would say. Very high risk. I think 
I reckon the broker's initiate might wheel around to the the end. It might be that white is our splash colour if we're committing to snooping newsies again. Then uh, it's hard to obviously have cheap white creatures and then cheap blue, cheap cheap black. Something's got to give somewhere. Um, yeah, let's. We're going to try and make the the ascendancy work. We're going to try and get some one drops, but I think snooping news is the thing we start with. Even though these things do um, go around the table quite often. Just, I'm just obviously so impressed with us with my four. I had four snooping nooses yesterday, so uh, there is an instinct to try and repeat that success. Now, here's our first reanimation spell. It does cost us five. Um, you can do it at f f instant speed if you if you're doing the self mill plan. So that's quite interesting. We I didn't use this. I have not I've not picked this yet because five five mana is quite a lot. But it, I think that could be excellent. Um, fake your own death can save your creatures. I think that's quite good. And then we've got we do have a one drop, a pretty significant one drop, ominous parcel, which. Um, can't ignore too many one drops. Um, we can't. Well, yeah, we'll get we get we'll get pick eleven from this pack. We'll hope we can get either ominous parcel or cutthroat contender. I don't know if they'll make it round. We'll, we'll see. But I'm, I want to try the graveyard shift in this game because I didn't I didn't try it before. And that could be quite at instant speed. That's that could be card advantage. Hmm. Okay, we have we have more ascendancy. I used this as well. This is pretty cool with the sacrifice deck, but yeah, it's got two colors that, that don't overlap with the obscura. This 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 takes us into a five color deck, but we are I am drafting for my collection, so I'm I'm going to take this one. Uh, and yeah, we could pivot into. A Riveteer's Sacrifice deck. I mean, there's a body dropper right there. It's kind of... But we have... I have already done this. Um, I've not tried to make Obscura Ascendancy work. So, this is, this is much more appealing. I guess, and I guess we've got three cards for that. We have one for this, so... Okay, good green removal spell there. Gathering throng. We could we could start collecting gathering throngs. <laughs> See if we get two of them. Then you know, if you get two of them, maybe it's worthwhile. Put a card draw, fake your own death. Some more burn spells. But I'm not gonna worry about that. Social climber, body dropper. Uh cabaretty courtyards, tramway station, okay. So, um, the black, white, blue options here are not inspiring for my kind of my self mill deck. We could be opportunistic here and pick the body dropper, and then that goes with Riveteer's Ascendancy. So we kind of have it, we'll have two competing strategies going on, and then they could both. Of course, they can both use graveyard shift potentially. Um, I'm not sure I want to collect, try and collect gathering throngs. It seems dumb. <laughs> it's kind of dumb uh, when you've got a body dropper that's, you know, is really good. So in fact, I will, I'll take this out of the sideboard and put it here, so we can see everything. Right, slip out the back is a one drop. I'd say that's a good one drop for the ascendancy. 
not used it at all actually and we're all familiar with it I think uh, so I think priority is going to be ascendancy here uh, it's just if there's just amazing river tears cards okay we'll, we'll switch but uh, land wise here we've got we do have obscura storefront this is the yeah we, we are we are looking at obscura we've got skybridge towers as well if you do want to, to do river tears this exhibition magician this is pretty good so uh, the land here c might be the best choice, but I also am quite tempted by having. A g I think it's a good one drop here, so I think I think we'll take that for our obscure deck because it's it's tricky. You've got to get your your mana fixing, but you've also got to get a steady supply of one drops. So it's, it makes it a bit challenging. Now we have a really good Maestro's card, of course. To throw the cat amongst the pigeons. I don't think we can play Corpse Appraiser. I think we have to stay strong and just ignore the Corpse Appraiser at this point. Broker's Veteran is good. Good, cheap creature. We could ignore it to get a relevant land, I think. Yeah, I think the two drops, um, there's more availability of two drop creatures than the right colour lands. I think I want a land now, rather than trying to get one later. Okay, we've actually got um, the perfect one drop here, Raphine's Guidance, that you can cast from the graveyard. So... This is a great combo with Fear Obscure Ascendancy. There is another Broker's Veteran we're going to have to ignore, which is painful, but I think we've got to go for this to make Obscure Ascendancy work. Right, so more Broker's Hideouts, which are not... I guess they do um, Islands and Plains. So they're not bad. Another Broker's Veteran there. We have another one drop here that I'm I guess I'm not that excited about. You could it's good with the vampire scrivener, this one. I think I like the broker's veteran more. Got our two pretty good one drops, so and that's Really good, really good news. So Broker's Initiate has wheeled all the way around. Uh, and we might might just have to play it as a one drop for the uh, to support the Ascendancy. And that's very good news. Ominous Parcel, another one drop. That does mana fixing as well. Oh wow, we're getting a late another late Rafine's guidance. I think I take this over the Revel Ruiner. Well, that would be my first um, four drop as well. But it's like this way. I've kind of I fixed the problem with Obscura Ascendancy at the very least. Okay, this is a four drop. That's our first four drop, I think. And broken wings in the sideboard. Okay, Gala Greeters. Oh, wow. Okay, it's just. This draft is giving me headaches, so yeah, really good cheap green card which we can't play. So just we'll just sideboard this. That's my fourth one, and we'll just grab our fourth copy of Bootlegger Stash. There we go. So my collection's doing pretty well. I think at this point now we say right, yeah, it it didn't throw loads of River Tears cards at us at the end of that pack, or in the. Uh, Opening, opening this pack. So I think now we just drop these two cards. We'll just forget about them, and we'll just try and make this uh, strategy work. And um, 
you want kind of even numbers of all of your uh, your one to five, at least one to fives. Helpful to have a, have some six pluses. It's, that, is, that is a weird mana curve to have after your first pack. I've got to say, uh, Celestial Regulator is really good, but also Fairy Vandal's really good. Um, and it's an uncommon, so. Um, this is good with card draw. We have one card draw card. Actually, a bit of a headache. I feel like you ought to pick the really good uncommon flyer here. Uh, but for my deck, I actually do. I need a three drop other than Obscure Ascendancy. I've got zero three drops. This is a good card that fits in the three slot. And maybe it's because um, the power of this card depends on your uh, your card draw. We haven't got, we've got one card draw card so far. We'll get, we will get pick 11 out of this pack as well, but that will never make it to pick 11. Uh, I think I like the regulator more and um, gets us started on our three drops. Rumor gatherer of all things, okay. This is fantastic. Uh, what else do we have? Kill shot, very defensive card. Um, Corrupt court official is good. Deal gone bad is good. And it can you can self mill, of course, with deal gone bad. But I think uh, rumor gatherer is, is so amazing. Uh, you can't ignore it. So, just to recap, we've got five ones, two twos, three threes, a four and a five. So, we have to take one off the threes. It's for, uh, for the purposes of our uh, Obscure Ascendancy, we've got two threes. It doesn't count itself, of course. Um, right, really good card here is Midnight Assassin. I've seen people use Rooftop Nuisance. I've not used it yet. It seems really fantastic. I think a good creature gets the edge now. Now we've got Rumor Gatherer especially. We've got a very powerful alliance trigger. So we favor kind of creatures a bit. All the, all, all the good creatures we see are, are that much better. So I think it's Midnight Assassin here and that's another three drop. Oh, that's cool, All right. We have a four drop. We need more four drops, so and this is really good. Another flyer, it's got shield, it's got flash. Really cool, I think it's, I think it's an easy pick here. Celebrity Fencer is good as well. I've seen people use this, Majestic Metamorphosis. Um, this is another card I've lost against. <laughs> I think, yeah, when you can when you can turn this basically into a removal spell, it's like a cantrip removal spell, so it's uh, pretty amazing. Maybe I should be picking it more. But Sweeping protect Protector seems awesome here, and it's a 4-drop, so it's uh, rounding out our deck. One thing that's not coming together yet is the self-mill strategy. Um, we want more self mill, we want more reanimation, uh, more raised dead kind of effects, but because um, that could help the ascendancy. But I guess we've got we've got Rafine's guidance, 
Um, actually, we're we're a bit low on two drops so far. Right, take to the streets. That's that's a big pump spell. Like sorcery of speed. Uh, Bind of silence would be a nice five drop. Nice nice removal spell. It's a nice bounce spell for four. Yeah, take the five drop removal, I think. I mean, you're kind of unlikely to get use it to get a fifth spirit token on here, but you kind of, I kind of like the having the option of that happening. Uh, there's, right, there is Broker's Hideout it's good to just find island or plains. I think we might, yeah, we might just work on our mana curve. Uh, Paragon would be another four drop. It is a big mana sink. I don't think it's very good, but it's a four drop. I don't think there's much better here apart from knockout blow. That only hit that hits target attacking and blocking creatures. I think we can tr we can try a paragon here. We've kind of got a flying uh, theme as well. Okay, there's another by your silence there. That seems like yeah the best option here. Is that or cement shoes? <laughs> oh yeah, we do have a reanim do have one reanimation spell. We've got still got the graveyard shift. Uh, quick draw dagger or brass knuckles. I've never used brass knuckles before. You know, quick draw dagger is pretty cool. But let's have another option in the four slot, I think. Double strike. Can we make how much? I think, okay, here's the argument. I, play, I played quick draw dagger and it's good. Haven't played Brass Knuckles. I've never, I've never drafted it, so I'm gonna. This is this is the, this is its shot. Um, let's we'll see if it, it works. Okay, there's another one drop here. Uh, we're very short on t two mana creatures, aren't we? We've got literally two. That's the weakness. So let's get the Halo Scarab. Can't really play any of these. I think we uh, we take a rocks pummela because it's splashable. Gilded pinions is a two drop. Um, Raffine's guidance. We've probably got enough Raffine's guidance. Um, we don't need to give anything in our deck flying though. Not particularly. There's a few non-flying creatures, um, hmm. but it is a two-drop. It's going to help out a mana curve. I don't know if we ever play three Raffine's Guidance. That seems insane. But um, yeah, we don't need Gilded Pinions. I think I'll I'll take a third Raffine's Guidance. What the hell? Let's, let's have a fourth one. Why not? <laughs> okay, perfect. We've actually hit the perfect card okay, in the third pack. So that is very, very lucky indeed. Rafine the Scheming, ske uh, scheming Seer. Right. So let's just have a recap here. Yes, we have four Rafine's Guidance. <laughs> we could... 
we're okay for one drops. It's two drops of the, uh, the problem here. Effectively, we've got four three drops for the obscure ascendancy and four fours, three fives. Okay, I'd like exotic pets and I've not used it yet. That's probably what we go for. Duelist is, of course, pretty good. There's a rooftop nuisance. This makes two creatures, and that will trigger Rumor Gatherer. That's a, that's um, a very nice combination. Deal gone bad is good removal, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna favour the cool combo, so I'm gonna take exotic pets. Mage's Attendant makes a creature as well, so that is that is pretty good. I hope we get some two drops though. Held for Ransom's a good two drop. Uh, but I think I can't see past the Mage's Attendant, that's just so good. Come on, two drop. Okay. Nice <laughs> burn spell there. Backstreet Bruiser is a two drop, and we've got tokens. And it's it's crazy. We've got to, I think we've got to take this over a good card like Obscure Initiate. Uh, on this pass was good as well. Yeah, we have to take the Bruiser. We just have to fill out the, the two drops here. We do have I think because we've got enough three drops. We've got three drop. Got a three drop flyer. But yeah, we're playing the Mana Values game, so things are a little bit different. I think it's just Backstreet Bruiser, number two here. It's a nice big chunk of hit points as well. I like I like this on turn two, so he can trade with their um, that three three green creature for three. Uh, yeah, it's definitely Backstreet Bruiser again. Right, how are we doing? How are we doing? That's us up to five, two drops. Hmm. Make disappear is a seems like a good counter spell. I think I like that better than disdainful stroke. Midnight assassin is really good though. But we have to. Uh, we have a midnight assassin, I suppose. We need a two drop. Let's go against. Uh, I don't really want to take this counter spell, but I'm. Uh, I need more two drops. Ah, Broker's veteran. That's a great two drop. Um, dig up the bodies there as well. I think it's yeah, Broker's veteran. And then we've kind of. Yeah, I think that's that's a good mana curve. We'll just see. Just try and improve the deck now. Uh, Midnight Assassin is fantastic. We'll have another of those, please. I think, yeah, having four Rafine's Guidance is a bit over the top. I think two is about the right number. I see a really good one drop removal spell. So it's a nice combat trick there. But let's let's imp improve the one slot, I think. Hey, expendable lackey as well. Another good one drop. Uh yeah. Let's keep going with lackeys. Ominous parcels. Let's also extract the truth. It looks like we're very blue now. Do we want to play all these two drops? Do we want to improve them? I think Snooping News is quite hard to play now. 
it might actually just get dropped from the deck realistically. So we're going to have six two drops. But maybe that's enough. Uh, so let's extract the truth. I think we didn't do great on mana fixing, so I think we take the parcel here. Right, uh, let's hit the shipment, sure. Probably sideboard that there. Um, metamorphosis, so we do get to try this one out. So we did it. We made uh, <sighs> we made an obscure ascendancy deck. Hmm. <laughs> Well, we get five. May, imagine if I get five soul counters on obscure ascendancy. That would that would be very satisfying. What would be nice is if this gave you a two-two flyer for free when you cast it. That'd probably be slightly overpowered if you if it did do that. So, 49 cards out of 40, we've got to make 9, excuse me, 9 cuts. And looking at the deck, it's sort of, we've got a double white here that's really good. So white is definitely one of our colours, and it looks like blue, so and we're splashing for black. Uh, it might not be the, the newsies day today, I think that gets cut. Good. It's good early. It's good when you have mul them in multiples. So you're doing a lot of self milling. I think this is just going to be a two. Going to be a two two. Drop the newsy. So yeah, it does take us down to six two drops. Uh, so we've got to. We have to play all these two drops. Uh, I would say. Um. As for the one drops, the expendable lackey's quite good. But we've got, we seriously got nine one drops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we've got nine one drops here, by the way. I think we cut it down to six. I think maybe it's just. We don't have the self mill thing going on. That was a a good plan with Rafine's guidance. Uh, I think we'll just take this down to one. I like the initiate now. I think. I like. So we put a tier list here. I think. Yeah, it's broken. It's, it's uh, probably witness protection is probably the best card. The ominous parcels are next because they f they mana fix me. I need mana fixing definitely here. Then it's probably broker's initiate and Rafine's guidance. Um, do I need slip out the back in this deck? Is there something very important I need to um, guard? I would say maybe it's the rumor gatherer. Uh, I've seen the expendable lackey is also good with self mill, but we don't we're not doing any self mill now. So uh, and it's a good it's a good chump blocker, but I think we dropped two of these. We're not sure about slip out the back, but that okay that takes us down to six. Six might be about the right amount here. Six ones, six twos. We have to keep all the twos now. We want like seven threes. I think we need to cut. So we make a couple of cuts here. Keep Rumor Gatherer. So I think the tier list here, Rumor Gatherer's at the top with Exotic Pets, Mage's Attendant, second, right? I think the two Midnight Assassins and the Regulator are after that. So I think we, we do drop the, the Metamorphosis, which is a shame. Uh, oh, Rafine is kind of up there as well. So we have a really tough... 
Yeah, we have a really tough decision here. It might have to drop a Midnight Assassin, which is crazy. That card seems so good. I think, uh, yeah, we'll drop a Midnight Assassin. Okay, yeah, that's, so that's going to be six three drops we have. I, I mean, with um, not counting the Ascendancy, right. Uh, then we've still got to drop three cards. So, yeah, fours and fives don't matter quite so much. So I guess... We could have two fours, two fives. We'll just we'll just see what the good cards are. So Swooping Protect is good. I think we drop the Knuckles and the Modernity. I think Buy a Silence is good. I think maybe we drop the Graveyard Shift because we're not doing Self Mill anymore. So yeah, okay, that was that was relatively painless. And I think we want a 40 card deck here. We're not doing Self Mill. We want to draw the Ascendancy. See if we can make it work. We want to draw Rafine. I suppose that does have uh, that does connive, so that can dump a lot of stuff in the graveyard, but we won't worry about that too much. I think yeah, I think we can afford a card draw card. There you go, so that I had a go at it. We'll see if it works. Obscure, can we make, maybe we can make Obscure Ascendancy work here just with really even mana values across the board. At least in the one, one twos and threes. It's really get all about getting those um, one drop things. I guess we, we could go down to five one drops. We might decide slip out the back isn't that important and maybe we go for another midnight assassin you could sort of there's an argument you can kind of count Rafine's guidance double because it can come back from the graveyard I think maybe I like this idea just get that midnight assassin back in there we go so yeah, it's only five one drops, but we'll see we'll see if that works. Uh yeah, the mana needs needs des is in desperate need of fixing here. So black is our splash colour. We have just put we are just splashing in another midnight assassin, which is maybe that's a bit dubious. Uh but yeah, four black cards, but we've got two ominous parcels and a halo scarab as well i kind of want to go down to if possible i want to go down to one swamp i think maybe two swamps is the right number we just want to have a we want to have enough planes and islands so we actually can cast our early spells. I would, yeah, because of the rumor gatherer, I would probably go for eight planes. That would probably be the extra land I put in the deck. So yeah, we're not all that light. Yeah, it, midnight assassin. How much? I'm going to just check how many sources we need. I'm going to look at the Frank Carsten article. How many sources do you need to consistently cast your spells? A 2022 update. So he's... Uh, I was so excited to see he'd updated this article. <laughs> yeah, a couple of months... Uh, I think a month ago. Um, to cast a Midnight Assassin in a 40-card deck consistently, you need eight mana sources. We need eight black sources to get this out consistently. So, we have two swamps, two parcels, that's four. That makes four. Don't know if we count Halo Scarab because it's not, yeah, it has to die somehow. But um, five. Uh, the the other thing is we can't just take out planes and islands. 
to put in more swamps because we need we need some consistency with these cards. Um, do we have a broker's initiate as well? But uh, look up. Yeah, I'll see how how many we need for rumor gatherer. How much we need for like a broker's veteran? I think it's pretty similar. Yeah, nine for broker's veteran. Nine blue sources, but for rumor gatherer, twelve sources. Just the more as many white sources as possible um, would be good. I think what that does is that convinces me I need to drop a swamp and go to eight planes. Uh, I think I've just talked myself into dropping a midnight assassin again. We'll put slip out the back back in. I think this is also a good card to just try out. I think we've all you know I played we played against this. You guys have probably played against this in Constructed, and it's very frustrating. Uh, it's a way to protect my Rumor Gatherer, which is a very sort of high-value target. I don't know if I have too many high-value targets, really. Rafine, I suppose. We kind of got like a bunch of small flyers. Yeah, I guess another kind of a worry. We've only got 12 creatures. Which, um, but I guess we've got a creature maker here. So that's that's like the 13th creature, arguably. Exotic pets is the 14th creature. So yeah, we're, maybe we're not too bad on creatures. Right, I think, um, I'm thinking I'm quite happy with that now. Right, I'll call that end of part one. I'll have another little think, but, um, I think this is the deck. Right, thanks for watching so far. Okay, I'm back. So, um, yeah, I think we've... Uh, I haven't made any more changes, so yeah. We'll stick with just one Midnight Assassin uh, and uh, and slip out the back. I think I think it makes... that makes the most sense. Um, yeah, I think we'll just, we'll just get on with it. Um, hopefully we can cast our black spells, but it's, uh, obviously it's a little bit iffy, but, um, add that to decks. So, probably I'm the least confident with this deck. I mean, this is my seventh draft, and this, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I'm, this is the deck that I feel it's, uh, most likely to go 0-3. I think... Obscure Ascendancy is very dicey. It's just a very risky, uh, risky proposition to play it, and re and try and rely on it and try and build a deck around it. But I think it's it. The thing is, it's fun. <laughs> I want to see if I can make it work. Um, it's like you know Mount Everest, you know. Right. I think this is a fine hand. We can we can find our planes with the parcel. We can play a turn two bruiser to like try and hold the ground. We've got a removal spell. We'll probably get an initiate on turn three, I think. So yeah, that's fine. And we've got our splash color, which is which is great. Oh, we just top deck a plane, this is fine. So we can actually do turn one initiate. And have just a series of walls come out of our deck and we just hope he doesn't have any flyers. There's a civil servant. Oh, we can actually buff up one of our creatures. Now, let's play the bruiser. Because in the back of your mind, you're thinking, I don't want to play every single one drop in my deck, every single two drop, before I've got Obscure Ascendancy. You can get away with the guidance, though. I think... If there's one thing we're missing, it's the um, dig up the body, so we can kind of get something important back to get the ascendancy started. Um, yeah, this depends on counters. He doesn't care about Rafine's guidance very much. So let's uh, let's play a swamp here. Parcel. I think we're probably going to use this as uh, removal. To be honest, I think. I think we can play a second two drop. You don't have to uh, wait for the, uh, the thingy. And 
know the player parcel. So Rafine, Rafine's guidance isn't going to get too much done here. I think, well, we can put it on the veteran and start swinging in. Oh, okay. That is how it is. Right. So that's quickly going to get bigger than the ominous parcel can deal with. Just check regulator. Um, you need tokens. Witness protection. It'll become a 1-1 one, one in base stats. Uh, but then it will add all the counters. So that will make it a 2-2. Two, two. It's going to become a 3-3 three, three next turn. And then 4-4 four, four the turn after. What we have to do. Top deck of land. So we've... Um, So we can use the damage of the ominous parcel. We've got to witness protection this guy and then shoot him, basically. That's the only thing. Uh, I don't want to play Celestial Regulator for beatdown, but I might just have to. Yeah, I think we're racing now, so I think we've got to do Regulator, even though we don't have a token yet. Um, and I think we're going to just witness protection that because we are racing. And it takes his health down a bit, uh, his damage down by one. And we just have to just, everything is riding on, just top decking a land so we can blow up this guy. Yeah, it's two cards to um, remove this guy. The regulator's not attacking. Okay. Right. Major's attendant isn't what we wanted to see. Oh. Have I just completely... I think that... <laughs> I just let it through and I could have blocked it because it's lost... Uh, all its abilities. So this is not unblockable anymore, is it? Okay. <laughs> that's that funny. I just assumed, oh, that must be unblockable now. Okay, so uh, we go Mage's Attendant. And then we've got to remember we can do this uh, one point power sink. We don't attack with anything, I think. Wow, look at my creature rollout. That's five creature cards. I've only got... Um, okay, right, it's still unblockable because it didn't, it didn't give me a chance to block. But it's not conniving. Isn't that interesting? Oh, right, because Enchanted Creature has text on the card. Whenever it deals combat damage, it connives. Oh, that's... So that's really interesting, right? That is why that doesn't work. Oh, well, so we've got... It's not, it's not conniving anymore. But we've got like a seven turn um, clock on me. I still kind of want to kill that thing. Because he, he is ahead of me now, right at this minute. And I, just, I don't want to just throw my guys into him there. But we can Rafine's Guidance on the Major's Attendant. And then he could have, he might have to trade off here. That's That's not a bad idea. Bit, lovely bit of uh, trade up potential happening here. Okay, c love to see it. He's trading off there. <laughs> get the Rafine's Guidance back and uh, end the turn. Okay, he's got a blocker. He gets the Scry. And we've just got to remember we've got our Power Sync if he does want to try and tap out something. OK, 
Okay, my turn. We have, we found it, okay. So he's kind of ahead in terms of his life total. I think we, we might be able to protect this guy with slip out the back. That's that's the only, only problem. My other play is Rafine's Guidance on the Regulator and swing in for three. Because um, I can't swing in really like this. And also I do... There's also Broker's Initiate just swinging in and boosting it to 5-5. Five, five. But I, um, yeah, I think I will pop his unblockable dude. And uh, nothing after that. So yeah, it's took it taking me two removal cards to um, to do that, but I think it's worth it. Now we are fiends on the regulator. And swing in. It's actually quite a neat little card, really. You don't want to obviously have a handful of them, but one in the deck seems quite playable. Ah, do what do? Oh yeah, I forgot about his little hidden ability there. And he even has a combat trick to go with it. Yeah, this this is quite a nice, nice combat trick because you get it's a cantrip as well. Nice, right? Fair enough. Well, um, he doesn't have black mana. I think this means we just play our lands. We're not worried about being forced to discard. Okay, now what's he's, he's doing a nice bit of scrying there. That's gonna be a huge creature. Yeah, he's playing around the wizard, of course, which is very smart. Yep, just play our lands. Uh, obviously, yeah, we've got we've got an issue here with the rumor gatherer, but never mind. We've got a nice Broker's Initiate on the defense, uh, which is very mana intensive, so we couldn't Rafine's Guidance and pump the Initiate. I think we uh, just end the turn there. Okay, all creatures attack and giant creatures control each combat if able. Okay, this, this is kind of the nightmare. At least we've got this guy, you can't attack. So he gets to be a four five. Yeah. See that that is it's a very powerful card. Um, to be honest. That kind of ruins my day. Well, we've got the mana for rumor gatherer. We don't really want to play it in these uh, circumstances. But there you go. Uh, we have five, six, seven, eight mana now. Enough to pump Broker's Initiate and play Rafine's Guidance on something. Uh, so obviously this is going to destroy something. Um, probably the Broker's Veteran, right? I can just... M I guess I can make his blocking a little bit harder. So I guess Sawjack will kill this guy, and I can't help this guy out at all. Okay, just make sure we've got the right amount of mana. I'm, I'm going to put this on the veteran. Not sure doing the Rafine's Guidance makes much difference, but it means he's got to think about what I might have in my hand, I suppose. He's going to have to do it that way around. We'll pump the eight, this guy for five damage. And he's going to get kill shot, sure. 
Nice, it's a nice combination, kill shot and the, um, yeah, whatever it's called, public enemy. Backstreet Bruiser gets a shield, which is nice. But yeah, I've never seen anyone play this, but that's obviously absolutely destroyed me here. I uh, can trade a shield for... four damage. I think... no. We won't do that. Okay. Okay, we've actually got... this is an answer. It's four damage, so we've got to block and shoot the guy. Uh, just remember, so that's five. We've got... So we can't Rafine's Guidance as well. We've got to just try and hold him off. And he can swing in with everything. He can get five damage through. So It's coming out, okay. Four more creatures than me. Guess describe the rumor gatherer. I'd love to shoot the rumor gatherer, but it's uh, too late, I guess. And we will pop the strong arm. I guess to draw another card. But we get to play our rumor gatherer, which is pretty exciting. Um, celebrity Fencer gets pretty scary here. Um, so, Rafine's Guidance, does it... We're going to reveal we have no other cards in hand. Rumor Gatherer could get to 3-2. And it could block the Lackey. I, don't, I think we just... We'll put this on the Bruiser, to be honest. So, getting good value out of Rafine's Guidance, got to say. And we've just basically lost to a really weird card here that it's sort of, um, I'd call it a kind of, well, it's, it's a definitely a, um, it's a very powerful card, but it sort of doesn't do anything for you when you're getting, uh, you're on the receiving end of a beatdown. So that's, oh, that guy can't block, so... We are looking very dead now. Um, we can't let the celebrity fencer through, so we have to chump like this. Because you've got another adjudicator. Yeah, that's this is the power of the rumor gatherer, and then get them to make disappear a bit too late. Okay. My problem with the public enemy card is of, um, I feel like every game I lose, most of them, it's just a severe beatdown where my opponent can just attack with everything every turn. I don't get enough creatures in removal and they just top deck loads of creatures. And that's where public enemy is just another dead card. So that's that's the thing I'm I'm trying to fight against, but... I guess if you look at it differently and you think, actually, yeah, I can deal with the aggro decks, I can flood the board with creatures. I'm comf If you're comfortable dealing with aggro, then you can start adding cards that break deadlocks in a, in a fairly uh, spectacular way. But uh, I don't seem to reach that level of confidence in my deck to ever play Public Enemy, but... Uh, it's so probably another card I'm wrong about. <laughs> it shows you the um, power, the power of Defender there. They, don't, they just can't attack, so um, it gives you some protection against Public Enemy. Uh, we didn't 
of course, we didn't hit double white there. What we decided to do was... We could have done with the parcel, but we decided to use it on his unblockable dude. And it's kind of interesting. We learned something new about um, how witness protection works and how, and how it interacts. So... It took off the connive ability on dealing combat damage because that was going to be that was printed on the card by the uh, aura, but it didn't stop the unblockableness because that was on the aura itself. Right, so this hand is good. We have Broker's Veteran, turn two, Midnight Assassin, turn three. Then we can case the joint if we top deck a land to try and find white mana for this guy. But that's very. It's, we have one swamp in the deck. We've managed to draw it in our first two opening hands. I think that's quite lucky. I think we should it shouldn't be too hard to find the white mana in the deck. You wouldn't, I mean, you wouldn't have thought. Uh, I might have just cursed myself saying that, but there you go. And um, this is, uh, of course, another way of getting white mana if we need, if we need to. Uh, do we go? I think I think we go Halo Scarab because you don't want to. If you can avoid it, don't play Broker's Veteran with no other creatures. It becomes just a target for removal. It's like, oh my goodness, it's a devilish valley. Trample, haste. He didn't attack. Could have attacked, mate. It's got haste. It's going to beat my Halo Scarab. So this, uh, the power gets doubled every turn. Every 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 um, time something comes into play, it's a cabaretti deck with lots of creatures. So this is this is potentially horrendous. Um, but I think uh, we've actually that's quite exciting. We found obscure ascendancy. We play the midnight assassin here. Just hope things do not get out of control on this side of the board, because that'll go to power two, then power four, then power eight. Yeah, playing three creatures in a turn is, is terrifying, if you can do it. It's got hold for ransom, okay. Removal spell, and he's just going to get through for one damage. And we could chump block, but we're, we're not going to chump block here. We need to get three power together on the board to try and... Oh, that's perfect. So we've, we've hit... Um, we've hit our white mana. That's fantastic. We've kind of got to manage what we're doing here around Obscura Ascendancy. So we're missing a one drop. We don't want to play the two drop. That's the only three drop we've got. But we can we can play a four drop. I think I'm going to surprise him with Swooping Protector next turn. Or we could try and draw our one drop. That's the... Uh, hmm, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think that is that is the, the way to go here. We're going to, tr we're going to, uh, we're going to Swooping Protector. I think that's... If we can just sub take out the Devilish Valley, that's a big... That's a big headache that's taken off the board. And we, I think we can always use case the joint. It's, it's all about getting the um, the one drop to get this thing started. And then we've got the two drop and the three drop. So yeah, we don't don't worry about playing both of our four drops too much. You might now. Is there a yeah, there is a okay. There is a spell, an instant, for one red, which gives first strike. So that's that's literally what he needs to win this combat now. Because strangle, as we know, is a sorcery speed. Burn spell. And he literally has that card. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I called it, at least. Yeah. Oh, well. 
Now, good news, we, we uh, top decked a one drop, so we're going to go obscure ascendancy. And we're going to get it started with a one drop, which is pretty amazing. And get a 2 2 flyer, which is pretty sweet. We still want to double block the uh, valet. We'll see how many of these silly combat tricks he's got. They always seem to lose to these things, they always have them. Okay, he now has one green open after this, and that is two creatures, so that's getting up to four power, which is terrifying. And that, that's a 4-3 as well. So let's see if he's got the... Uh, for the family, we'll make this guy an 8-7. And he'll get five damage through. He'll take nine damage, and he'll still be on the board. So yeah, we'll just see if he's got four of the family. I guess if you're gonna play combat tricks, you play it in the devilish valet deck. Um, what I would have done, maybe maybe you pre-combat you, because um, I'm tapped out. Pre-combat you pump him up, and then you play the magician. So he'd have gone. It would have been insane. He'd have gone uh, three, six, twelve power. So I think hopefully. This means he doesn't have for the family. He has for the family. <laughs> of course, called it. Called it two turns in a row. It did, it's not doing me much much good. Good news, we do have witness protection. Okay, because this, this card is getting quite stupid. We're down to nine. think okay can't use the parcel yet so yeah this is this is just out of control this card so we're going to witness protection it and play a broker's veteran Let's see if he's got another magician Yeah, this is, I feel like this is just my luck. <laughs> it's like they draw their valet and they get two combat tricks to go with it to just clear my board two turns in a row. Um, but things are looking good. We've got our ascendancy actually firing off. And I think we can start swinging in with spirits. Let's we'll play our... Uh, Attendant. We'll have one mana up for our um, counter spell. I mean, this is a big creature. This is quite scary. But it doesn't have trample yet. All the family doesn't give trample. Yeah, I think the cabaretti charm is the the way you get trample with this deck. It's, and it is instant speed. Okay, that is, of course, it's crew three. So, yeah, uh, we can just block it with everything. Uh, so here's the funny thing we could block it just with these three and then the problem is if he does have the um, oh yeah there's a one white mana shield counter thing which I bet he I'm guessing he has yeah so this this is tough but I think we've just got to block with everything. It's not much fun. All right, five mana. Five damage. Because if we only block with... If we don't block with everything... He does his shield token. When I counter it with my wizard, 
I suddenly don't have six power to kill the Capenna Express. So we are playing around the combat trick here. Everything dies. <laughs> At least we get a shield token. Uh, and we get to have a case, we get to case the joint and get another spirit. So that's quite good. Getaway car. Okay, he's getting. Oh, no, that's a good one. So he's going to bounce his. Um, the, wow, we've even got by your silence. We've actually, we might do the the obscure ascendancy um, combo here. I think, yeah, we have to stay on defense here. Unfortunately, he just has too many creatures. Uh, we're probably going to have to double block. Well, we know if we just need to hit a land, and then we can. All our spirits are five fives, so we we kind of would rather not. He's got the combo here. He's got getaway car with exhibition magician, which is kind of brutal. I think we need to double block to kill it. Um, he might have the shield combat trick. Really, you're using a citizen. You're supposed to use the exhibition magician. Or the... Ah, no, right. Wait, what am I doing? The citizen... What was the citizen tapping for? Right. Okay, that's so that's really nice. So, he's, yeah, of course, he's bouncing the, this guy. That's even better than bouncing the Exhibition Magician. <sighs> okay, that's just depressing. Right. We've got to double block here. Uh, we've got to kill this. We can't leave it on the board. But at least we got Rafine. Um, we just we just need to hit. Okay, we could Backstreet Bruiser and Parcel for a land because it, it's. We could Backstreet Bruiser and Halo Scarab and then blow something up with a Parcel. That might be more to the point. That might be even better. Yeah, we want to we get, of course, the... Uh, if we do get a, a, a land, we want to get the planes. But this, yeah, we want to set up by your silence for next turn. Uh, the valley will have haste. Okay, we'll, we'll play a bruiser and just we'll just try and survive. And go next... And uh, no attacks. And uh, end the turn. And we'll try not to l lose this spirit. But yeah, it looks like he might just attack with everything. At least he won't have Cabaretti Charm, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, here we go. The worst thing is for the family on Devilish Valley. Another thing for the family would be a disaster. Does he just actually win this turn? Now I think about it. Uh, well, I'm, no, I'm on nine. I'm on nine health. Okay. It's a bit scary. Uh, okay, off. Okay, that result couldn't be better. Fantastic. So we're going to buy your. We're going to use Halo Scarab. Get the treasure. We top deck of planes anyway. Fantastic. Uh, buy your silence on this guy. He's because he's just incredibly scary. And we did it. We got, we got obscure ascendancy to uh, five. And I think we can attack. He gets two things through. He, the worst worst case scenario, he's got Cabaretti Charm um, and a creature, so that would be like um, three, four, four, three, trample, three, two, 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 three, three, okay. 
yeah, I'm going to say we can afford to attack here. If we want to be super, super safe, we use the treasury player broker's initiate. If we want to be slightly greedy, we, we don't. We play rumor gatherer next turn so we can get the scry off broker's initiate. Uh, we'll put Let's say we'll play a bit fast and loose here, and we hope he just can't get through with 9 damage. We've got, we got some beefy boys here. Okay, Sticky Fingers. Well, he's got Menace. Okay, that's that's a problem. Uh, social Climber boosts that to 3, 2. He's not attacking. That is wonderful news. actually getting kind of close to winning. We can obviously parcel his Zorjak, swing in for 10. Uh, but we want to, yeah, we want to do Rumor Gatherer here. Would you believe I actually, yeah, it's amazing. I love it when a plan comes together. We got five soul counters on Obscure Ascendancy. It's unheard of. <laughs> I wonder how many people have ever done that. Now, in draft, I suppose. Um, so, treasure. Do we use the treasure to play scheme? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I mean... Yeah, we can't play two creatures in one turn after the rumor gatherer but we can we can get the scheming seer out and we can scry i think that's okay i'm okay with that that seems very good it's a bit more don't need that good and um Okay, one attacker, I think. Just one attacker. Let's play super, super safe here. We don't want to just throw this away. Oh, okay. Um, Broker's veteran. Yeah, let's let's get rid of the initiate, I think. To make that a 6-6. Six, six. He draws a card. Off the... And we don't have to use the parcel on that guy. And we should just swing in in the air and win, I think. That so this game's had twists and turns. I'll be amazing if it well be amazing if there's one more twist. He has a he figures out a way to win here. I. I can't imagine it's possible, but... Right, so I think it's pretty simple. He doesn't have any flyers. We attack with all our flyers, and we um, win, I hope. And we do some serious conniving on Rafine, I think. We've got two things to discard as well, so... I think, actually I'm not, okay, kill shot on Rafine isn't ideal. Oh well. Rafine's out of there. And we'll play out our creatures get to draw a card off the Rumor Gatherer. So, yeah, that's on the bottom. Okay, planes. Just hold that in the hand. So land, he's got three cards. He's got six mana. Rakish Revelers, that's quite good. So that pumps this to 4-3. gets two life points from Social Climber as well. Yeah. 
We did it. Obscure <laughs> Ascendancy works. That was a tough game as well. So yeah, we had the Witness Protection, Devilish Valet, then he could bounce it back to his... <laughs> he bounces his one rare that's been dealt with back to his hand with his other rare, the Getaway Car. And then we have to... So we have to use Buy, the, buy, uh, buy Your Silence on him to get rid of him. So that, was, that is an unlikely set of circumstances, I've got to say. And I, and I actually fl I get... I basically get Obscure Ascendancy to five soul counters. Um, you don't see that every day, I would say. Very cool deck, though. Devilish Valet with just lots of um, combat tricks to back him up. Okay, we've got blue and white. We've only got two. Um, but we've got one drop, two two drops, counter spell for two, and rumor gatherer. Um, we don't really have any card draw at all. But we can. I feel like we can hold the ground at least a little bit. And uh, maybe we don't play our second creature. We just maybe counter spell his first thing. I'm getting to go second as well. I've got to remember to look at this bit. Opponent goes first. That's very important. So if you have a two land hand and you're going second, uh, then you're more likely to want to keep it. You're getting that extra card to help you fix your land situation. But I just really count up the number of playables I've got, and I've got four playables on two land, so I've had a it's quite a uh, it's quite a decent hand really. Okay, they've kept their hand of seven cards. We'll keep ours as well. They're playing first. So I guess our aggressive uh, play would be Broker's Veteran turn two. So we can start actually beating him up a bit. We might, yeah, we might want to play, uh, hold up mana for make this appear. What's the worst thing you can do on turn three? Probably play a devilish valet, <laughs> as we've seen. The most common thing on turn, because it would be, obviously I'm going second, I can only counter his turn three play. But, uh... Looks like this guy may have disconnected. Oh, okay. We'll take it. They all count. Okay. This is already as good as uh, a couple of my previous drafts, <laughs> so only way is up. But gotta say, very, very satisfied getting the five soul counters on Obscure Ascendancy. So I can lose the next two games, fine with it. I'm <laughs> I actually got a silly card to actually work in draft, so 
yeah. I think. I think you've got to focus on, sometimes just focus on the little things. Oh my goodness, is this the first time you've played against a mythic player? Rank 1032, okay. Well, this is interesting. We don't have black mana. We would, otherwise we might want to hold Omnus Parcel to trigger the Ascendancy. I think we have to play Omnus Parcel turn one. And just hope we top deck another one drop. Okay, another two drop. Okay, that's okay. I think then at least we have a two drop in our hand we can hold on to. Oh, that's terrible. It's a body dropper. <laughs> um, I think we're very much on the defensive here. I think the Backstreet Bruiser is the guy we want. Initiate. Okay, that's going to actually swing in and do me lots of damage. We have another two drops, so I do have options here, I think. Obviously, we'd like to pop the parcel, but I th I think I, I like Broker's Veteran here, so he can trade with an initiate and then put the shield counter on the bruiser. That seems, that seems solid. Uh, of course, he can add... He can, if I do that blocking situation, he can sack the initiate, that becomes a 3-3, three, three, and then he kills the bruiser. I oh, know he, tra he trades off with the bruiser. Okay, that's no, I think I like that. Yeah, Broker's Veteran looks, looks good here. Yes, he's not attacking. He has another body dropper though, and that's that's terrifying okay we have another two drop we'll hold the halo scarab and we just play out our defenses here oh flyer okay what does this do? It's, it's a rare. This is going to be scary. So, 1-1. One, one. Five or more va mana values. It gets plus, plus, plus two. It's a 3-3 three, three death touch. When it dies, you mill two cards and draw a card. Okay. It's not too terrifying. It's not too terrifying. And it doesn't... Yeah. You see, I'm surprised it doesn't, like, mill you for two when it comes into play, like a... Uh, a snooping newsy. Okay, we are definitely looking for a swamp at this point. The swamp. Right, swamp and obscure ascendancy. Now, are we going to be... Okay, yeah, we can't play the Midnight Assassin. That's fine. Obviously, we're not going to play Hello Scarab. We're going to see if we can hold on until we actually draw a one-drop. So this is, this, this is the position that Obscure Ascendancy kind of puts you in, though. You, I kind of want to play my Midnight Assassin, but at the same time, it might not it might not be good. Okay. Most yeah. We'll um we'll trade off like that. He gets to do some card draw. I don't really care. I just don't, I don't want to take three damage. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna kill that before he gets the shield. How? I'm utterly brutal. <laughs> right, okay, we're storing up. 
I think we just hold one land in hand. I think it's okay to play one land. Looking at the situation, I think uh, we'll draw more three drops, hopefully. I think we'll, we'll just have to play a Midnight Assassin. We want to buy a bit, bit more time to get that all-important one drop. Yeah, good card, Maestro's Initiate. At least we've uh, we've drawn out big removal spell, and he's used it against one of my my defenders. Okay, another land. I think I reckon we play a planes here. So that's that's terrible. <laughs> Another midnight assassin. He gets a midnight assassin. Okay. Oh. Well, why do you always turn up too late? <laughs> um. Okay. So we have a we do have a situation here. I want to now play Halo Scarab. So I've got something I can sacrifice to make disappear. Because we're not we're not we're not getting the one drop, it looks like. Um It means that we've gone th I think it's six two drops I've got. And we've we've got to count them. Right? So three, four, five. There's only gonna be one more two drop in the deck. And we can't like recycle them or anything. So we might only get one spirit out of this. This so this is what this uh, this card does to you. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna just gamble everything on. Um, getting a one drop. So I don't, I don't think a single two two flyer is gonna be enough. Win this. Okay, go to goons. And we can't even um counter spell that. Yeah, this is this is where they just start to win when they get their Gerda goons over and over. Uh just have to let that through, I think. He's got loads of land, so I just I guess he drew lots of cards. Well, he's drawing a card off off the uh, Gerda Goons. You sort of you don't know how people they do it really. Yeah, I could. This might be the last chance I get to counter spell something. What I can do is play the Halo Scarab, and then I've still got a two drop in hand. I'm not that scared by the court official, so I'll just I'll just drop an island. It's fine. This is this is how it goes sometimes. The, the opponent gets out, you know, like seven creatures. Oh my god, we did it! We d we did a a one drop. Um, we just okay. Okay, this is interesting. This is very interesting. But I'm not going to slip out the back in Halo Scarab. I think we play Halo Scarab. We hope he casts a spell. And we um, yeah, we can't. We can't realistically do slip out the back Halo Scarab. I think that's very risky, indeed. I think I have to play a two drop. And we'll just hold up, slip out the back during his turn. Okay, no attacks and end the turn. Okay. More good goons. This we can't even counterspell this thing. 
this is this is what happens late game against these decks. Um, It's like a uh, four-point power sink. I don't know how he's drawn so much land and so many creatures, but he's, he's, he's figured out a way. Okay. Now, you don't want to obviously counterspell that before you've done slip out the back, so... Yeah. Okay. Sure. Right, so... Pass the blockers. This guy blocks here. I think yeah, we're going to make the Backstreet Bruiser bigger because he does have significant forces on the ground. Uh, don't think we trade off with Midnight. Midnight Assassins. I'll do that block. And we will slip out the back. And make a 2 2. Very exciting. Yep, that's going to get bigger. And that's going to get bigger. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, with the sequencing here, we have to make disappear something. We don't care what. We don't care if it counts as anything. And then, then we can exotic pets. And we've got two more blockers. We hope he casts something pre-combat. Beautiful. Right. No, we're not casting that with casualty. We do not have the creature to spare. Okay. He gets another creature. Suddenly things a little bit healthier at my side of the board. We'll see what he... Oh, he's going to attack with everything, okay. How many exotic pets as well? Oh, do we get a plus one plus count, plus one counter on these guys as well? That'd be fantastic. This is the first time I've cast exotic pets. Uh, yes, give me a plus one. Plus one, plus one, nice. Well, this is so interesting. Um, these guys do not have menace. These are the horrendous things that do loads of damage. Right, but he can make them bigger, so I think Death Touch is what happens with one of those. He can do one sacrifice here to make that a 5-5, five, five. so that's obviously not ideal. That's huge amounts of damage. I think we just we chuck a fish in the way of that. That's my thinking. We have a 4-4, four, four, so we just kill the Forge boss there. Uh, he's got a couple of 2-2s two coming in. I think we can just, yeah, we can just kill a 1-1. One, one. That's fine. We can kill a 1-1 one, one flyer. That's absolutely fine. I think we kill his Midnight Assassin. That's absolutely fine. Halo Scarab trades here. Do we let two damage through? I, I, think, I think not. I think we'll just try and take as little damage as possible. Um, yeah, eight blockers. There we go. I think that's a pretty decent exotic use of exotic pets, I've got to say. I put a 2-2, a 1-1, two -two, a one -one, and a 2-2 two -two flyer into play. Yeah, something's getting sacrificed. Oh, something's getting a shield counter as well. Oh, that's, that's smart. Yeah, he puts it on that, so he's going to keep his body droppers alive. Yeah, I didn't... I did not think of that, um that line of play. He's got fake your own death on there as well. Okay. How did he have the mana to do all that? Did he have lots of treasure tokens? 
So Forge Boss is back. Uh, yeah. That's milling cards. So that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> uh, did he seriously have four mana up? Because I thought he, he was down to two mana. I, I was clearly wrong. I think he must have had tr two treasure tokens. Oh well. Oh well. I did the best I could do there. Uh, now, if I can top deck a four drop, that would be amazing. But I think I'm absolutely uh, destroyed here, unfortunately. Uh, I think we... Yeah, we just Halo Scarab. We'll get a uh, treasure token. You never know. It might be useful. We've got a blocker. Um... That'll have to block and yep. We tried. That was that was fun. I think we were you know, we were right to try and be patient with the obscure ascendancy. It's my only path to victory in this situation. So yeah, and it, it did it did pay off and we almost we almost got there, but yeah, the um, of course the body droppers are just uh, ridiculous. This one has menace. This one doesn't. Okay, and he's got mana to. Wait a second. Everything's tapped. He's only got enough mana here. Okay. Obviously, the menace one gets through. If we all block that, we die. So that's unfortunately un uh, not. Um, a possibility for us. If, however, we double block the Forge boss here, we kill him and he only kills one of our guys. Rumor Gatherer has to chomp block here. Uh, we take six. Oh yeah, that's that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah, we can't do that. We just have to chomp block across the board. I'd be amazed if we somehow survive. Oh well. We get another turn. Um, for what it's worth, we got the buy your silence. Um, we didn't get the four drop thing, so that that happened too late. Uh, I'll, I'll concede this game. I think he's. I think he's got me there. Yeah, we did. We didn't make it to plat. That's that's a tough thing to throw at you when you've got like uh, your game point away from from promotion. I was like, oh, let's let's give you a real test. Let's chuck a, a mythic player at you. And he's gonna and he's gonna have two body droppers in the first four turns or something like that. Good luck. <laughs> right, two and two. We're we're very. This is a very familiar score for for me to be on. I've, I've, this is where I've been the last. Uh, Last three drafts. Can we make it to 50-50 with this weird deck? Uh, I don't know. Um, right. So yeah, we did we did get a free win from somebody just timing out. So I don't. I think my my initial assessment that this is the probably the jankiest draft deck I've made so far. I think that's probably about right, but. Yeah, you've got to, I think you've got to try it. You've got to try this kind of deck one at least once. Okay, so no black mana. We have the parcel. So we can get to three mana. Uh, two drop creature. Three drop creature. And some interesting stuff. Think yeah, play the tap lantern one. There's no problem. Yeah. And he's got a fast start here. Um now I could yeah, I'm not so scared of the, the witness. I think I think I'll parcel rather than play it play any defences here. So I just don't I don't want to miss a land drop next turn, because that's That's when I really start to fall behind, I think. We'll see if he's got a follow-up here. 
Okay, no, I don't think so. That's a relief. We actually top deck a land. That's very good. So I think that means we didn't miss the land drop, therefore we can play this and we can play our uh, Backstreet Bruiser. I think I'm, I'm quite okay with that. Possibly even better, play the Mage's Attendant because it's three mana. And then I can still double spell next turn if I need to. But this, yeah, we're lucky. We drop, we draw a, a good two drop. So we look for the swamp now. Play the swamp and play the veteran, who's a good thing to trade off with an initiate. So he's got his kind of card advantage dudes here. And then that's now he's got something pretty serious with the menace. So, of course, that can trade off for both of these guys if I double block. Uh, Midnight Assassin goes into the graveyard. Okay. Now, that's a very exciting card to see. Rumor Gatherer. Um... So Mage's Attendant gives me a really good block, I think, against the Revel Ruiner. I've got the option of counterspelling something. That's the sort of... That's the safe play. This is the greedy play. Uh, I will have... But I will have Slip Out the Back to protect Rumor Gatherer against removal. I think I can afford to do the greedy play because I'm on 19 life. So, go for it. And we'll probably just take four damage from the Revel Ruiner this turn. Oh, it's another big creature, right? So, yeah. Mage's Attendant would have been pretty good there to would have been very nice to uh, take that guy out but there you go this is what happens sometimes so yeah we don't really want to we could double block and kill it get a shield on the rumor ga gatherer we might need all this power here to kind of double block the wrecking crew though I think uh Honestly, I think we've got slip out the back. We can use this. So double block, slip out the back on the bruiser so he survives. Br veteran dies, shield goes on there. I think that's that's what we do. And then we're, just, we're actually preserving our life total. We're, we're getting a good trade. We have to use our, our spell, but I think that's fine. So, yeah, because it's only got two health. Rumor Gatherer gets some protection as well. Okay, cool. We hit a fifth land, I think. Unless he's got, what's the minus three, minus three card to kill Rumor Gatherer. We should be okay. I think I'd, because I, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm reaching for by your silence on this guy. Um, is that the right thing to do? If we do Mage's Attendant, we draw a card of Rumor Gatherer. 
We've got made, Make Disappear is available to us. We've got the, the One Point Power Sync available to us as well. Um, we draw a card. All sorts of good things, it seems like. Um, and we could trade with, use Backstreet Bruiser and the 1-1 one, one to trade with Wrecking Crew, or, the sh or they use the Shield token on the Rumor Gatherer. That seems, that seems like a good turn to me. And then we can hold by, by your Silence for later on, if he does something. Oh, Exotic Pets are good. We like those. And we'll actually draw them. That's nice. So no attacks. So this guy can actually attack as well. Oh, face breaker. Okay. Actually a really good card. I think we make disappear and we'll sacrifice the wizard token. I think that, yeah. Actual, honest to goodness, counter spell. Breaker, please. Oh wow! Okay, so one rare isn't enough. He's got the uh, the really <laughs> another in insanely good rare. Yeah, I've had to run into, uh, but we've got buy a silence for this guy. Okay, so. He's tapped out. Um, we don't have to trade Backstreet Bruiser here. I think it's Rumor Gatherer and Mage's Attendant. Just double block. We'll lose the Mage's Attendant and the Shield token. And that's that seems like a get to keep our 4-4. Four, four. That seems good. Oh yeah, that has the trample, so we took quite a damage. I am liking how this is going so far. This is obviously just eventually going to get out of control, so... Um, we're thinking... Uh, buy your silence might be good. It's just, do we want to do, we want to do this now? Because it's, it's zero power... Um, also, Backstreet Bruiser can't attack at the moment, but we, he can attack with ex when we do exotic pets. But this is this is instant. I think we do this at the end of his turn. Uh, we don't attack yet. I think yeah. Let's we're going to wait a turn. I think that's. That might be the best policy here. This can just eat some graveyard stuff, but we don't have any... We didn't manage to get any raised dead cards, so we don't really care that much about my graveyard. That'll be a 2-2 two -two now. He's going to draw a card. He's got nothing to do. That's, that is good news for us. Let's hit a land drop. And yep, we go for the exotic pets. Onto the bottom with you. Now, I don't want to count my t chickens too early. I think this is looking pretty good. So this... It's crew 2, so we can crew it. You can tap it and make it a 4-4. Four, four. So it's going to trade off with a Backstreet Bruiser. So I think... I think that's a good reason to just buy, buy your silence on it right now. He 
He's only got one black mana available. I don't know. I don't think he can do much with that. Pretty sure. Fake your own death costs two mana, so. Couple of things goes away. Yes. Uh, he's got black mana. I think I'll, I will hold the island here. Now, when I attack here, so Bruiser can attack, but these guys will trade off for him, and he'll get, you know, a big advantage. I think we'll swing with our unblockables. And then the turn. Two cards left. Ramus Outlaw. Okay, that's that's another pretty good one. But at least doesn't grow every single turn. It's got Scry too, so that's really good. And it's a good target for witness protection, actually. Uh, let's play a Broker's Veteran and we can Scry. Oh yes, very good. Indeed. So I think what that means is I will actually hold on to Witness Protection for another turn. Because I can tap this guy down with Celestial Regulator. I don't have to use Witness Protection on it. It's not that scary for me. Oh cool, he's going to force me to attack. Love it. Attack with everything. So, what does this... Does this add text to the card? So yeah, I think this means we lose Rumor Gatherer, sadly. But that is, that's kind of okay. We will tap down the outlaw. It's interesting to, never seen anyone use public enemy until today. It's public enemy day, I guess. Get a, get a scry out of that guy before he dies. Um, don't think there is a line of play. Let's go for it. Gets a lot of card advantage here, and I lose my source of card advantage, which is not ideal. So ready to rumble, that's five damage. That could take out one of my dudes. Then this guy can spend five to draw two and discard. He should be able to do both of these quite easily. Oh, okay, on the fish, kind of makes sense, yeah, take out the unblockable, because hey, he has a 4-5 blocker for my other dude. And, it, uh, even better, it stops the bruiser attacking, I've just, I've just twigged, <laughs> I just realised. We still have to attack with everything, which is quite interesting. But, uh, yeah, I forgot that, that detail, so he could have, um, wait a minute, wait, I... Oh right, right. No, I understand. Unlucky witness. Now you can only you get you get ex two cards exiled. You can only play one of them. Uh, otherwise, I mean that would be pretty insane if you could if you could just get two cards for a, a one drop. Uh, okay, so pretty happy with that. I think uh, it's broker's initiate now. Do we hold? Do we keep holding on to witness protection? So we have to attack like this. Uh, 
Uh, I think we'll just we'll give him a bit of a surprise and play. We won't play witness protection yet. Um, he's probably not expecting it. But yeah, that was a um, very smart move. I thought, obviously, you kill the, the biggest creature. No, you kill the creature with the token, so you stop Backseat Bruiser from attacking. Okay, so he's got some big, horrible creatures here. One of them can be unblockable as well. Uh, we're going to pop our Skybridge Towers, I think. Oh, that that is a top deck and a half. So, so we don't want him to draw a card. That's getting that's the one that's getting exiled. That's getting witness protection. Right, that's pretty simple, right? Um, of course, we give. Okay, he doesn't have any cards in hand. What did I say? Buy your silence or glamorous outlaw. Gets a treasure. Witness protection on Sewer Crocodile. And then attack like that. Oops. Yep, that trades off. I think put this on the uh, regulator. It's going to be. It's got. It's a source of two damage, so it makes that that much more difficult for it to deal with. So I was thinking. Let's think about this game. How? Yeah, he had um, unlucky witness, didn't he? And the maestro's initiate early on. Then the 4-2 Menace, and then the 4-5 Reach. So it's quite a good rollout of creatures he had. It's a bit scary. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, cool, he's conceding. We did it. We made it to 50-50, and I think we made it to Plat as well. Which is, uh, which is nice. That's a nice little bonus. So that's worth an extra pack of Dominaria United at the end of the month. So it's very good. Okay, uh, we have a two drop, we have a three drop. Uh, Rafine's Guidance, Witness Protection, so we've got, got a removal. Got the really cool thing that gets th that works with um, our Ascendancy, if we can uh, find that this game. We managed to win without the Ascendancy last game, so... Uh, Maybe this deck has something to it. Some substance. Ta 
Tavern Swindler. You do not see this card all that often. Okay. It's, uh, yeah. Pay three life of a coin. If you win the flip, you gain six life. Yeah. wonder if he's going to start using that. So this is, uh, he's got his nice rare land. Same colors as me, isn't it? Very good. So we've got um, yeah, we've got our, uh, our mana, our black. We can get our black mana. I'm thinking it's it feels risky to play Rumor Gatherer, but I think um, I've, I've just got to be brave and play it. I don't want to. It's sort of not the best time to play exotic pets. We kind of we want a token on something. Uh, I will go ahead and attack like this. And to put it another way, I'm totally fine with this soaking up one of his removal spells. It's one less removal spell for a fiend if I get her later. Oh, he could counter spell it, couldn't he? He's got flu, now I think of it. And of course, yeah, you want to do it this way around. around. Rumor Gatherer, then Exotic Pets. So he, he has held that for Ransom. That's okay. Okay, it can't attack or block. Perfect. It still has its Alliance ability, as far as I can tell. That's all it says. Can't attack or block. Perfect. Could not be better, actually. Um, uh, let's see. I think we'll just exotic pets at the end of this turn. We, um, yeah, they won't get any tokens, but at this, at the, they're going to draw me an extra card, and it's two unblock, it's two unblockable power on the battlefield, uh, which seems good. We're doing a bit of a race at the moment. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to be confident, and I think uh, I've got the advantage here. He's not exactly. He's not going to use a second removal spell on Rumor Gatherer. Okay, Dapper Shield, mate. Pretty nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okie dokie, right. He does have black mana, but I don't want to hold lands at this point. I want to do more things. I think now he's got the power advantage. I've kind of got four power I can attack with, but he's got six power. He's winning the race. Um... I think I will attack with my fishes. And I tell you what, um, I'm kind of greedy because, okay, I could play one of these guys. If I wait till next turn and play both of them, I get to draw a card. I, I like I like that idea a lot. Uh, so I'm going to play Ominous Parcel. We'll uh, we'll use it to look for a swamp instead of using because yeah, we need a swamp obviously. Uh, we could witness protection the shield mate. So, but it gets a shield. It's still got, it's a one one with a shield counter. That's the only thing. Um. think in what I might do instead. Uh, yeah, I guess you could do Raffine's Guidance and um, 
witness protection on the dapper shield, mate. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to mute you. And I'm going to do Raffine's Guidance on that. And end the turn. Okay, one of the fishes is dead. Resolve. But I do tend to spend a bit too long on my turns. I timed out a couple of times, a couple of drafts ago. Well, that's going to be... Oh no, he's got no no uh, abilities now. So it's just a 1-1 one, one with shield. I'm going to grab the swamp. Okay. Uh, we'll tap out, I think. We'll go... He's got a counter spell. I think I want to keep the regulator. So that goes first. Taps down his two power creature. Cool. That goes second on a draw card. Got the planes, and we swing in. Oh, that's a good blocker, so... But he can't pump that up. But still, it'll be a good wall to stop the Halo Scarab anyway. Okay, that's just a 3-1. Okay, I'm gonna, just going to draw a few lands. That's it's cool, we're chilling. Uh, let's sack that. Just see if we can get any action at all. No, it's not a land. That's fine. That's, um, but let's play the island. Let's hold up some counter magic mana. I think I want to attack like that. I'm going to take damage um, from this guy. Potentially this guy as well. Okay, keep the Midnight Assassin back. Let's swing in with just these two. It's actually just sheer power of the Broker's Initiate at this stage of the game. No, he lost three life. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Well, Broker's Initiate's not going to do much good. He's gained six life. Oh, nice. Well done. <laughs> we got the Obscure Ascendancy. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. Very happy to see that. Uh, we're going to swing in with the flyers again. He doesn't have flying blockers. This is this is a first for me. I haven't seen the uh, someone use play the talent swindler and use it. I think that somebody's played it, but never used it before. Let's see if he can just win with this, with a lot of coin flips and quasar. I'd be very impressed. No, no. It's got to be careful. I can get through with uh, four damage. Hmm. I think, actually, I want to... Definitely want to attack with Halo Scarab here. Let's see if he wants to kill it off. I'll call the Midnight Assassin defense I think kill shot okie doke 
Um, he's only got three mana up and he's got no treasures, I think. Feels kind of bad to sack the Rumor Gatherer, though. But we're going to... I think we'll... S yeah, I'll tell you what. We'll sack the Halo Scarab. Because we want that Rafine's Guidance. So we're going to target the Kill Shot spell. I don't want to counter our own make disappear. Right, what do we play Rafine's Guidance on? I think... I like it on the fish, actually, because it's unblockable. Then I get a 2-2. Two, two. Yes, it does work. <laughs> That's cool. I'm glad I didn't um, sacrifice the Rumor Gatherer. I think we'll start playing out some more lands as well. Then we've got the Halo Scarab to use. He's on three life, so he can't really use that. I think he just, yeah, <laughs> it just kills him. Right, somebody lost, died to their own tavern swindler. I think it was uh, deliberate somehow. But yeah, you don't see that every day. I believe we're at four wins now. This is uh, unknown territory for me. Almost. For the last few drafts, it's been very rough going. I'm going to have to check if the internet is still on. This is uh, taking a very long time. Okay, I think we're good. Get a covert cut purse. Ah, uh, yes. Pretty good card. Alright, four wins. Who knew? Who knew the uh, Obscura Ascendancy would uh, get me above 50%? First time in four drafts, basically. Right. A uh, little um, uh, diversion. We're just going to check what's in the shop, just in case. You always want to check the shop in case it's got the... Uh, the, the uh, I think it's 1,000 gold for 50 gold. Or 300 gems for 50 gems. Okay. That's fine. Right, that's checked. Right. Yeah, game number eight. Let's go. I've probably played uh, white and blue the least um, in New Capenna Limited, but I am I am liking it a lot. Got to say. This is not such a good hand. We've missed out on blue. We can't cast two of our spells. We have a five mana removal spell. Which maybe we can play on turn five, but that might be too late. I'm going to go ahead and mulligan this one. This is not what I'd usually mulligan, because it's like, oh, I've got four lands. I can... Uh, hopefully I can just top deck something. I'm going to... I'll do a little experimental mulligan and see if we get punished. Well, it's white and blue. That's that's a good start. We don't have black for Midnight Assassin. We've got a removal spell, two drop and a four drop. I think that's great, actually. That's That has worked out very well. And Midnight Assassin goes on the bottom. What I mean by punished would be getting another, um, 
a two lander. Another diff a difficult two lander instead of having you know going from a four lander to a two lander it doesn't doesn't feel good. It feels like you've made a mistake. That's nice. We get to see the ascendancy. We have a one drop in hand. We just need a black mana. We're going to be able to play our sweeping protector. So that's that is good news. We just hope we don't have not forced to use witness protection before we get uh, black mana. It's a three-three. Obviously, you you don't you can't block. We can't block it. We're just gonna take three damage to the dome. Hey, exotic pets. That's something to do. Um, sweeping protector. We want a sweeping protector at, at the end of his turn, no matter what. And that's just so we can start the beat down. And then we've got a token, uh, a shield counter to play with, which the one of the pets can um, use. And uh, might seem weird, but yeah, I think we've got to use our mana and not sort of tempo ourselves here. So even though that's this is quite a good, quite a fun play. It's even better to obviously play the um, exotic pets. Uh, it's not got count spells. He might have. He might make me discard. I think. See, I want to get to five land. But I will hold this island. Um, I think we just start swinging in with the sweeping protector, to be honest. We hope the exotic pets can uh, do some work. Okay, cool. Do that. Sodic pets. Boom. Uh, now, we've got two shield counters. This lets Backstreet Bruiser attack. I think we just trade the one without the counter. That's three more damage next turn. He's got to, got to have some follow-up here. Yeah, he's got a big creature. And that's getting strangled. Okay. Ooh, okay, that is a good top deck. We really don't want to play Witness Protection. Uh, so we'll just take out the big creature. We want to keep winning this race. So that was interesting. I think that that blocking decision that forced him to use strangle on my th my three three defender because then I could attack with it. So uh, that's very that seemed pretty good. Freelance muscle is another scary one. So this is where we're we're just I think forced to use witness protection here. Looks like we're not gonna we're not gonna get access to black mana for a while, and we want to just win the race here. Yeah, let's let's do that. We're winning the race. Let's keep going. Five more turns. Four more turns. We win. He's got yet more big creatures. Two cards in hand. Four mana. That's true, he can just swing with that, so I'm dead in four turns. We'll swing for three, he's swinging for five. But his guys can get like, a boost. I'll keep playing, I think I don't need two lands in hand, I'll play that land. So unfortunately we can't trade off the the entourage. 
feel like he's got to have something in hand. So what's what I'm curious about? Can we see where he got card advantage? Yes, he did. He did blitz this guy out. That was definitely card advantage for him. Four. So he's got seven land. I've got six in play. We both got three cards in hand. Um, we play the Skybridge Towers and we swing in. Taking five. Uh, has he got something? Instant. He does. Okay. Uh, Rafine disappears. That's a shame. So now he's winning. He second game in a row. Tavern Swindler. Oh, that can pump anything as well. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's got removal for that as well, I'm guessing. Scared of one damage. Yeah, why not? He's going to sacrifice that to double tap that. Sure. Why not? Okay. Skybridge Towers, draw a card. Damn it. Okay, we're just dead. We just drew too many lands. Didn't hit Black Mana. We're out of there. It happens. He had removal, he not only had the stream of late game creatures, he had removal for both of my creatures. <laughs> my, my tiny 2-1 and 1-1. One, one. There you go, that's, that's, that's magic for you, that's, that's how it goes sometimes. I think I've added this to decks, we'll just do it, but this... Uh, we, we will remember, I mean, we won't get too carried away, yeah, it was a 4 and 3, but we did... Um, I think our third opponent timed out and, uh, we didn't play a game properly so still we also played a mythic player and we gave him a run for his money but he yeah he had like a couple of five five um body droppers on the board but at the end i think actually we couldn't do much about even though i think we actually we might have got our I think we got our ascendancy to three soul counters. So that in that game, I think so. We we had one game. I think game two, we actually got it to five soul counters. So we got the five five spirits, and it was absolutely it was actually absolutely crucial, I think, to win that game. But yeah, that I guess uh, it adds a lot. Trying to build around this, it just makes your deck very... It adds a lot of inconsistency to the deck, and you've, you've got to try and build around it and pay attention to your mana values. And and you're pl also playing a three-colour deck. You've got to um, fi have your have mana fixing. So, yeah, pro so you're either... Because we're only splashing black in this deck because we want a consistent rollout early game to try and just stay alive. And hopefully we pick up the black mana later, and the uh, and all the little thingies we need to make the the ascendancy work. So it's sort of it was still very it's pretty interesting because that I mean it gives you a lot of value potentially. Five soul tokens gives you um, I think twenty five twenty five of flying stats, which seems good. It's quite a big payoff. I think we only saw Rafine once this game, and she uh, she got blown up. But um, I think I, yeah, that was that was the game too. I still won that game because I had to have the two five five spirit flyers. Uh, sweeping protector was good as I thought it would be. I don't think I uh, can't remember if it flashed in and killed anything. But uh, by your silence, pretty fantastic. Uh, case the joint. I think we might have used it once. 
Exotic Pets was as good as I hoped. It's a really good card. First time using it. Uh, Regulator, I know all about this one. This is pretty good. Obviously that Midnight Assassin was good. Rumor Gatherer, fantastic. Just huge card advantage whenever you get it. Combos well with Mage's Attendant as well. Uh, and and the pets. So I've got a couple of things to make two creatures and draw a card off the Rumor Gatherer. Uh, and then early stuff, Halo Scarab, yep, solid. Make Disappear, I don't, I don't use counter spells usually, but... I was kind of forced to use this. I needed an another two drop, and we did counter spell something with it. Um, I think in the penultimate game, yeah, it was actually a rare. We we got rid of the um, yeah one of the uh, one of the boxes, one of the rare boxes. It gives he's got menace. He's two he's two three, and you uh, you get treasure whenever whenever you deal combat damage with any of your creatures. Uh, so very good to get rid of that. And then the guy followed up with the unlicensed hearse, I think. So he had two rares. <laughs> but uh Yeah, that was we got some value out of out of this card. It's good to have maybe maybe one counter spell is okay. Uh I don't like the um dismissive stroke or whatever it's called. I forget. I forget exactly what it's called, but because it's uh, you uh, counter the target spell that's four mana or more. But er I guess everybody is playing big spells. It's just you sort of. I kind of remember all the games with the one one menace, the one two menace, um, and uh, then a, like a, a three three for three. And it's like mm, that's not. That's going to be a dead card in those situations. Uh, not sure I want to play it. Uh, Broker's Veteran's pretty good. It's better, I guess, when you have a sacrifice deck so you can control when you get your shield counters. Otherwise, people can... A few times people were using instant removal on the thing that the shield counter was going to go on. But sometimes it was like um, maybe a suboptimal sort of... Room use of removal because it's like ah they are you sure you want to remove that card even though it's got gonna have a shield backstreet bruisers were cool i think these, this is a solid card and this is a this was a deck with with a finally a deck actually with a few counters on it so it could actually attack and it uh, it drew out that strangle was that in the i think in the last game Ominous Parcel, fantastic, of course. Which, witness Protection's really good. A one, I mean, you don't see many one mana removal spells. This is maybe the, this could be the best one mana spell um, in the set. Maybe, well, maybe, a, you know, alongside Ominous Parcel. It's, yeah, it's probably better than Ominous Parcel. If this costs you five mana if you want to use it as removal. Uh, slip out the back. We tried this out. Um, I think we used it once. It's okay. We didn't get any amazing blowouts with this card, but um, we had the the, the the sorry the potential was there. Can't get my words out. There we go. Rafine's guidance. We were just playing one of these just to. Um, fuel our ascendancy probably one is the right number we could have played four but that would have been silly that would have eaten into our creature base our removal base or our um fixing so yeah one one is enough and brokers and brokers initiate i think is pretty good decent one drop very i very rarely play this card because i don't i don't like big mana sinks that much but i've I've seen it be very, very effective in late in the late game in a few, in a few recent games. Just an extra five five sometimes is just makes all the difference. Yeah, pretty happy with how the mana curve turned out. Obviously, you want you need a few more one drops than you would usually play in this kind of deck. Be still focusing on ones, twos, and threes. You, you, just, you want kind of a couple of four, fours, and fives, so just so you you know there is the 
there is the possibility available to um, to get your uh, your twenty five twenty five worth of stats out of your obscure ascendancy, which we did we did manage to do. Well, no, we didn't we didn't have twenty five twenty five, but we got like um I think we had ten ten worth of flying stats uh, back in game two. So that was that was cool. So anything I regret leaving out. So we've got the expendable lackeys here who can they can make the uh, fish tokens as well from the graveyard. I think this is better with in the self mill deck. Uh, we didn't have, we left out the snooping newsy this time because it wasn't, it wasn't viable. We're splashing black, so we want to, we want to be consistent. Uh, we left out, yeah, for the same reason. We left out one of our midnight assassins. Um, Majestic Metamorphosis is probably quite good. It keeps, I keep getting blown out by this card, so I think it's good. I just. Uh, I think I had my. I guess you might drop Midnight Assassin in this deck because you don't. You don't want too many um, uh, things that need black mana because you might. You might have a situation. You've got your Halo Scarab Treasure. You've got to choose: Do I play my Midnight Assassin? Do I play my Rafine, my Obscura? So, I think maybe. We should have tried out Majestic Metamorphosis. We even have some token creatures. It's, so it's obviously... You get most value using this on a 1-1. One, one. So that might that might have been a pretty good removal spell. Because basically Midnight Assassin. It's a removal spell. This does the same job. But it's a cantrip. So yeah, I think that would have been... That would have been a bold move. Just drop the Midnight Assassin for this. I think that would have been correct. This would be another five drop we could use, um, but I wanted to buy your silences in the deck. That seemed better. Um, let's see how how this works again. Yeah, whenever you cast a spell, if I if you were to graveyard shift like a one dro one drop creature, it wouldn't trigger obscure ascendancy anyway. It's coming straight back into play, so this doesn't really work. Uh, with our combo, of course, if it's a combo deck, so you could go for a list of shipment, except it's double black. So yeah, yeah, there's no way we could play that in this deck. Uh, let's see, lots of green things, not worth splashing really. Yeah, we we briefly had a flirtation with with the river tears and a sacrifice deck, but um, I think it's. Uh, these cards are quite popular. To, um, I guess the bots draft them a lot. See, you don't see that many body droppers usually. And yeah, we didn't find room for these four drops. Uh, I guess Par I always think Paragon of Modernity. Maybe that, that could maybe that could really pop off late game. But it's also a huge mana sink. It's kind of puts you behind in tempo. When you're both, both both of you are drawing a lot of cards, and it's all about getting getting all your cards out, and then it sort of it kind of falls behind. It's just a two two for f flyer for four. But yeah, I think I was yes yeah, happy with my f choices in the four the four slot and the five slot. I think that was that was fine. Yeah, pretty happy with that deck in the end. I'm sure we've added that to decks, but I'm going to add it again. Okay, 50 gems this time, pretty nice. So, yep, uh, that is another video. I think that's a good one to end on. Never used Obscure Ascendancy before. Obviously, I've run out of gold now. The, uh, New Capenna's uh, Quick Draft is going away. We're going to get Dominaria, Dominaria United Quick Draft for the next next two weeks so till the end of september and first i believe first two weeks of october we're getting midnight hunt draft which is quite exciting i'm uh very keen on trying to collect more of that set 
So I'll be, I'll be doing, I'll, I'll, I'll skip Dominaria United, build up my gold again, and try uh, and do a bit more Midnight Hunt. And then I think last two weeks of October, it's Dominaria United again. So that's, those are my plans, basically. Uh, I've got to think about whether I want to open my packs as well. Um, we're up to 54 new Capenna packs. We've I've done seven sealed and uh, maybe no maybe six sealed and seven drafts. My rule of thumb was if you do 20 limited things, then it's probably time to open your packs. Uh, so I, c I could wait on these until the next um, new Capenna draft. That, that might be what I do. But probably. I may as well open these uh, alchemy ones at some point because I'm not going to play alchemy draft. I'm sort of more into standard really, but I'll play a bit of um, alchemy quite happily. Anyway, that is that's the video. Thanks for watching.